Hey guys, welcome to another Rod or Two brief video. This is just an update. A few things going on. Got a new fish yesterday delivered from Dr. Reefs, a convict tang. Look how beautiful that guy is. All the fish are just always, always great. Of course, there's Spike, the original guy from my aquariums. Four clownfish. And we have, oh look, he's peeking. There's Casper. That is Lieutenant Tang. There he is, beautiful guy. The tank is a little more blue than in the video than what you're seeing. I just did a water change. I blasted some of the Aptasia with Aptasia X. I hate those guys. I can't stand them. Got some new corals, including these guys that aren't fully opened yet. I love, love, love star polyps. That's like the grass that blows, you know. They're not coming out. They were really more closed up than that, but over the last couple of weeks, they've been coming out a little more, but far from what they need to be. Um, I just got done feeding and spot feeding the torches, so the water is off. I have one Duncan head that I got yesterday, and to the right of it, a Duncan colony. That's all that's left. There's a little green speck, and I refuse to take it out. I don't. I did that before a few years ago, and it turned into 50 heads. I'm leaving that guy in. More zoanthid, really nice bright orange one, just like these here. And then really a nice colony of zoanthids. They're eating because I just target fed them with uh, reefroids. That's what I spot fed them with, so they're eating. Also, look at these trash lids that I made. I, this is from the Bulk Reef Supply Kit, right? Make your own mesh lids, trash, garbage salt creep coming through i placed an order for i was going to be, make it like a surprise but i placed an order three months ago it takes a while for top lids it's custom lid company so you take pictures of your lids and do all the measurements tell them where you want your cutouts like i'm going to have a cutout here so the cables for the heater and my overflow can go out um, i'm gonna have a cutout here two inches by two inches for the light stands of course, you got the night crew lights. I love those. And they're set on a dimmer. Um, these are only at 35%. I killed a handful of my little coral frags because, including Xenia, if you believe it or not, because I had the lights on too much. People were saying, have a hundred par on the sand bed. Well, that literally melted my Xenia. The Xenia was right here. So I got myself... Uh, a par meter, it's back there. I'll put a link in the video description. There's a link to all the stuff I use in my video uh, videos for the tank in the video description and also the first comment that's pinned. But the tank's looking good. The sand looks great. Oh, look, we got wolves. <laughs> canister filters. Can't be happier. I have two Fluval FX6 canister filters connected to the overflow. Man, I can't be happier. I love these things. I clean these things out like once every three months. It's weird to me. It's like, only three months? What? That sounds crazy. Well, how often was I cleaning out my sump? And there was a ton of crap, literally, fish crap and uneaten food, floating around in my sump. You know, I think we can all say that. How many of us actually take the sump out and hose it out in the backyard or whatever? Not me. I would vacuum it out and try and reach in there, be like a contortionist and try and, you know, screw that. These are so much easier. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. And it's so silent. Like, what you hear right now, nothing, is the same as what you'll hear when I turn them on. So anyway, I'm waiting on Top Lid's order. They said they're going to ship like three weeks ago. I just put an email in. You'll see that video when I get it. Also, what I did... I was looking at some old, older videos of my aquarium when I had the old crew, um, and I had a simple Phoenix strip light. It was awesome. Well, nothing fancy. It didn't ramp up or down. It was just a simple on and off for the blues and an on and off for the whites. And, you know, the rating was 10,000 on the lighting, and my corals were growing. It was crazy. They were thriving, and that light was like 65 bucks, a 48-inch light. So you know what I did? They don't make that one anymore, the Marine Plus. I bought 
from Amazon yesterday just to try it out. I just want to see. I love these Night Crew lights and I'm keeping them. But I bought two 48 inch strip lights. They're like $55 each, I believe. Link to that in the description. I'll do a video on that, the unboxing and the setup, of course. But man, so I wanted to do this video as a test to see like what the star polyps look like now versus what they're going to look like with those new lights, the night crews, because my star polyps with the other night crew lights like four or five years ago, they were just covering the rocks and flowing like blades of grass in the wind. It was crazy. So... The tank, again, doesn't look as blue as it does in this video, but that's that's what's going on for now. I don't, want, I don't know if I want to try hanging those lights from the stands or just get rid of the stands. I may just get rid of the stands. Not sure. You know, no, you know what I'm going to do? I will keep the stands, but I'll lay the lights on top. That way, when I have to do maintenance, I can just put the lighting on top of the stands. We'll see. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.